Hey everybody, it's me. Okay, so everybody wanted a video, so we'll do a video. Um, real quick though, before I get into this, you see right here? Um, I know I'm wearing a hat. I don't care. Don't care. But you see, like, I can never do a cat eye look. I never was able to do that. I'm not a makeup girl. Last time I tried like a panda bear, okay? This, all I did was I took my sponge and just was like doing that and it did that. So all props to the sponge, not to me. I doubt it. It doesn't even look like real, but hey, it'll get by. Better than nothing, right? <laughs> anyway, so I was sitting thinking, you know, what kind of story should I tell? You know, I've never really gotten real deep and emotional and I don't think I will right now because <laughs> I just don't feel like it um so I thought I'd like make you know tell you about like my first uh, kiss and first date and stuff because it's kind of funny um my first date it was a sports banquet um, I played basketball and volleyball and the guy who took me We'll call him Z. Um, played football. And uh, so he asked me, you know, we weren't dating, but he asked me to go to the banquet with him. And, you know, yeah, we'll go. We and his friends, you know. So we, he comes to pick me up. And um, it's the first time I'd been in a car with, you know, well, yes, yeah, first time I'd been in a car. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> Sorry, just kidding. Um, no, I am kidding. Uh, so daddy comes out and he's like um so you, you know what time are you have her home he said well she said you know 10 he goes no you'll have her home by 10. he goes oh yes sir and he reached in his pocket and he pulled out a bullet and it had the guy's name on it and he goes good so i won't have to use this <laughs> that was one of them i didn't date much no no not many guys no Actually, I didn't date really at all. I went on a few outings, I guess you could say. But as far as, like, steady for a long time, no. You know, that came later, so. And then the first kiss, this was so sweet. I have to say, I have to say this first. It wasn't really a kiss, but what happened? Allison was having this, uh, Randy's daughter was having this uh, pool party. And it was like girls and guys. So it was like the first girls and guys party, you know, that I was allowed to go to. And everybody kind of set up with other people. But like I said, guys are my friend. They called me up to talk. They never wanted to date me, you know. Or they want me to set them up with my friends, that kind of thing. So anyway, the guy that they wanted, and I, th I, think he, I, mean, I think he liked me. I don't know. I don't ever want to hurt nobody. But it was not... Yeah, I don't know. It wasn't like the spin the bottle. It had a pool house, and you went in there for like a minute, and then you come back out. And that was like the big, you know, thing. I mean, you have to remember, like, 10, 11, 12 years old, somewhere in there. So I go up in the pool house with this guy, and a lot of them is a friend, but as far as boyfriend goes, it's just. Nothing against him. It just wasn't there, you know? And he said, you know what, Sal? He goes, you know, it's okay. You know, I'll, I'll tell everybody that we, you know, and I'm like, and he goes, but it's okay. You know, don't worry about it. And I just hugged him and said, thank you, you know, because that he didn't have to do that. And I haven't been treated that nice by guys a lot, so, um... Anyway, uh, so that was that's one thing. But then my first kiss, um, the guy went in to give me a kiss and stuck his tongue. I know he bit his tongue off. I didn't know what I was doing. All of a sudden, there's some tongue in my mouth. I mean, I, I, he just he was like, ah! I didn't know. You know, I'm just like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, um, that that was not a good shining moment of mine. <laughs> I have a lot of those though. I really do. Anyway, oh just see my hat real quick on the show and see. It's a vitamin. <laughs> merch. I always gotta do merch. <laughs> it's not mine. Um I keep it like at least like two journals in every room in my house. 
notes, so I got little things jotted down. Um, oh, today, or yesterday, I think it was yesterday, um, I was talking about the birth of my daughter, how I, my epidural didn't take, and it was natural, and it happened so fast that I caught her myself, and the doctor and the nurses, they didn't have the warming table set up, nothing. And I didn't scream, I didn't, no, I just, what my body did. But that's on my page already. So this is kind of like, this is uh, the the birth of Anthony. This is um, the funny one. I always had my children, um, 37 weeks is like the farthest I ever went. My, I have a issue with my uterus being tilted. It's just like, you don't want to hear that. So anyway, um, so Anthony, you know, we're set 37 weeks and they told me to come in and um, I'd already been having contractions and, you know, that kind of thing. And um, so I had, I was supposed to have an appointment that morning at 9 o'clock and they're going to check me and if I was dilated anymore, they're going to send me to the hospital. Well, we're sitting at Cracker Barrel, you know, eating our breakfast, you know, I know it's my last meal. That's good before I'm going to the hospital, you know. <laughs> And I get a phone call, and it's like 8.30. My phone was at 9, and like it's right next to each other, so. They go, where are you at? And I'm like, Crackle Barrel? And they go, well, we've been, had a room ready for you since 7.30 this morning. Nobody told me. <laughs> and the thing was, is that he told me the day before because my contractions were so bad that he would like go ahead and let me have Anthony but because John's mother had never uh, got to be a part of a birth um, of a, her grandchildren I wanted her to be there so what I held on one day because <laughs> she was coming the next day but she was there with the cracker barrel so we rushed over to the hospital sure enough they had the room set up <laughs> And uh, just had my mom and dad and John's mom there and um, him being the only boy out of like eight grand girls in the family, which is what's funny because I was the only girl out of like seven grand boys in the family. So it kind of flipped, you know, it's, it's funny. But my, me and my mother are the only two in my whole family who have brown eyes. So still haven't, even my grandbaby don't have brown eyes. So I just say I'm so full of crap. My eyes are brown. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So anyway, um, I love talking to y'all. And if y'all have any questions, like I say, ask them. I don't care. Um, th this is just like I I'm so tired. And this this sign stuff. If you know Lookout Mountain and where we live, you understand. It's John, like he said, from New York, he never had sinus problems that moved here. So, you know, well, that's what happens to the other one So, anyway, um, I love you all. And, um, if you ask me questions and stuff, I, I mean, I'll do my best to answer them. I mean, I'm not going to do anything to hurt anybody or nothing. But, and I do want to express, please, on YouTube, like and subscribe, please. And put a little bell on uh, every time I put a V up that little bell would go off and it would mean a lot to me and also um i'm on re my all my um demos are on reverb nation just typing my name sally gentry and uh on facebook it's sally gentry on twitter and um instagram and all that you know just hook my sister up <laughs> all i do is write if i could sing it'd be a lot easier so anyway I love you all, and um, I hope you had a little laugh from this. It's, you know, it's funny when you finally have your son and they hold him up and he pees all over you twice. So, yeah, you know, you think about those memories, and thank God you don't have to think about them again. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, I'm, I'm grateful for everything. So, anyway, uh, I hope everybody has a great Friday night. And you're safe and be careful. Have a great weekend. Happy Sabbath. And um, I love you all. God bless.